Jesus is either like insane. <laughs> or he's telling the truth. It's <laughs> like, is like, there a middle ground? You know, yeah, like, yeah. there's not, you yeah. know? Hey, what's up? It's Joel here at HCC campus and I'm here with my new friend. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> We're asking people like what brings them joy in life? Like what gets them excited? What do they look forward to? You know, what kind of like gets you excited about life? Does something come to mind? Um, Your favorite TV show, even if it's just that, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think honestly, the, the thought of me waking up every day, I'm already grateful for that, being alive. I have yeah. to just be happy for what I have currently, you know, yeah. can't just sit around and be depressed. But, uh -huh. you know, when times do get hard, I find happiness in maybe, hmm, let me think. <laughs> I guess myself. I try to okay. focus on myself a lot. I try to put my yeah. energy into myself. When I'm feeling sad, yeah. I just think I can be better. I can be a better version mm -hmm. of myself. And I'm not the best version of myself currently, so I feel like <laughs> it's only progressing, you know? And yeah. that motivates me every day to keep going. Okay, yeah. cool, because the only person you can control is yourself, yeah, right? Really, really, <laughs> when is. the world's on fire, you could still make yeah. your own decisions. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so how old are you? I'm 19 now. 19, right? okay. So. Uh, Kind of a bigger question you probably haven't thought much about at 19 but have you started to think about like your purpose like where you're going in life like what you're here for yeah, you know I do. yeah I oh do. you do okay I we got a deep that. thinker <laughs> up in here so yeah. what's like give me an example like what is it that you kind of feel like you're here for um well obviously it's god's plan so okay. i would never know really but i trust god i i'm a really big um believer okay. in god so I'm, I'm muslim too okay so i feel like i just i think my purpose is to follow god yeah. that's for me and like god is going to take me there where i need to be that's good that's what that's i good. think i, I can't like stress that. myself over where i'm supposed to be by myself you know i leave things up to god most okay. of the time so that's kind of your purpose is just whatever God wants. Yeah, I guess right, I which guess, is good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's awesome. Good. So your necklace is that part of your faith? Or? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's in Arabic. Sarah, it's Sarah. It's Sarah in yeah. Arabic. Okay, that's, that's really pretty. Who's it from? Um, who's it from? Yeah, who gave it to you? Oh, I got it from Morocco. My parents got it for me. Oh, Morocco. <laughs> yeah, okay. From Morocco. I'm are are from you Morocco. Moroccan? Then? Yeah, I'm Moroccan. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. I don't even know where Morocco is. <laughs> North Africa. <laughs> North Africa. Yeah, that's North cool. Africa. It's very uh -huh. like top part of Africa. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So your purpose is is God. So. Um, yeah. And you're Muslim, yeah. okay? So um, I'll share. So you're here. You got teachers and instructors, mm -hmm. and they're teaching you about bioscience and stuff, right? So there's a teacher in my life mm -hmm. uh, who is uh, a rabbi, right? Mm -hmm. So that's on the Jewish side, and um, and you know from a long time ago, and I try to follow his purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of similar to what you're saying, yeah, uh, yeah. like follow God. Yeah. Uh, can I share that with you yeah, for a quick yeah, second? So his thing is this: it's one word, mm -hmm. but it's two different things. The word is love. Right? Mm -hmm. He says to love God yeah. with all your heart, your soul, your strength, everything within you, right? Mm -hmm. And the second is to love your neighbor, to love everyone around yeah, you, yeah, right? Yeah. So that's kind of what I've discovered my purpose, right? Is mm -hmm. from what his teachings are. Oh, and yeah, uh, But if you think about love though, uh, could you give us a working definition of, of love? love? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Uh, Have you thought about that? I haven't. <laughs> I don't even know. What is love? Is. Baby, don't hurt me. You know that song? <laughs> I think I think I would describe love as unconditional, even though it's... Mm. Okay, this might sound corny. All of this might sound corny. Do it. But I think, love can be corny. It's yeah, all right. <laughs> I think when you truly are in love and when you love somebody, you would do anything for them. Mm. And it will be unconditional love. Mm. There is nothing that will make you unlove them you know yeah i feel like i don't know maybe that sounds stupid you <laughs> i don't know actually you're, you're on the I money don't know. i don't know yeah i think i think that's what it means to love somebody and if when you love somebody you know you love somebody you mm. know mm -hmm. i think that's what it is yeah really that's I'm good trying to think yeah so love is a tricky word mm -hmm. in english because it you know we love we love our mom, we yeah. love our job, we love our dog, we love tacos. Yeah. You know, like love is not yeah, a great yeah. English word, but um, so in the Greek language, okay, mm -hmm. love has four words, mm -hmm. kind of helps a little bit. So like uh, phileo is the Greek word for brotherly love, like friends, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we have the city of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. That's the city of brotherly love, right? Oh, yeah. And then you also have eros love, which is like husband and wife, you know, marriage love. 
um, which obviously is where we get the word like erotic, right? Eros. Mm -hmm. But have you ever heard of the word agape love? Have you ever heard that word before? No, I haven't. Okay, never? Ag no, agape? Never. No, okay. Agape, no, I don't think so. So agape is kind of like the, the love that you're describing, right? Uh -huh. It's sacrificial yeah, love. Yeah. It's the kind of love that is that you don't have to deserve or earn. Mm -hmm. It's the love that's there no matter what, yeah. right? It's, it's the love that's patient, that's kind, that's generous, that you don't have to earn, yes. that is sacrificial, like it's, it's perfect yeah, love, yeah. right? I mean, nothing's perfect, but I would say it's, it's something you would- But agape is yeah. perfect love. So that's kind oh, of, so okay. that's what the Greek kind yeah, of gets yeah. into, right? Yeah. Let me ask you this. Have you ever had anyone in your life or experienced in your life like, agape love like perfect love sacrificial love or maybe what's the closest thing you've ever experienced to that um i think i would say my mom for oh, sure yeah. my parents yeah that was i mean i would say they were my first love <laughs> i guess <laughs> yeah but that's, yeah that's I've, good. I've definitely also loved somebody like that unconditionally yeah, yeah. another person yeah that's awesome and not a lot of people have that in their life yeah. right unconditional love so um that greek word agape right mm -hmm. it really means the love of god Mm -hmm. sacrificial love mm -hmm. so um, I am a Christian right yeah. you shared your Muslim faith um, and I'd be interested maybe to learn more mm -hmm. but in the Christian faith um, God showed his love to us through sacrifice mm -hmm. right I'm curious like in the Muslim faith so I'll, I guess you follow the teachings of Muhammad and you have the um, yeah, what, yeah, the Quran. what um, is there any is there any picture of sacrificial love in your in your belief system um like when well, you think about God, do you feel like love and is that yeah. ever, like, what does that it's, look like for you? I mean, w when I think of God, yeah, I think of like uncondition this unconditional love. Okay. I, he's yeah. there for me and I'm there for him, yeah. you know? I yeah. mean, I'm there for him, but you so, know, I'm always going to be praying and always going to be like yeah. close. I want to be close to him. That's good. Do you, uh, in your faith, has he ever, has, has the God of the Muslim faith shown sacrificial love in some way? Could you, could you um, describe yeah, that? Yeah, I know a situation in the Quran where um, Muhammad had to kill a goat and uh, God told him that was his son, but he has to kill him because God told him to do it. So it was hmm. either kill his son, which was a goat in disguise, he didn't know this, but he just wanted to show like his faith to hmm. Allah. So he killed his son and he turned into a goat. And so that's why we in Ramadan um, we kill sheep or goats. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know which one exactly, but I get it. No, no. We killed those in the in Ramadan in that holy month because uh -huh. um, because he was so faithful to God. Mm. God told him to kill his son, and he did it. Yeah. Not knowing it wasn't actually a son that he was killing. That's really interesting. So there's like a Christian version of that in the oh, really? Bible in the Old Testament about a man named Abraham mm -hmm. who was called to 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 kill his son Isaac. Oh, right, okay. but God provides a ram instead. Yeah, uh, uh, have you heard that before? Yeah, it's it's really similar. Isn't yeah, that weird? Really awesome. So there's interesting some of the parallels there. Mm -hmm. So in the Christian faith, and I'll just share one more thing and then I'll mm -hmm. let you get to your class or whatever. Um, so God, we talk about sacrificial love, right? Mm -hmm. And you talked about Muhammad with his experience with a goat yeah. and like it's, it was his son. Yeah. So in the Christian faith, um, God comes in the form of a man named mm -hmm. Jesus, yeah, yeah. right? Who is the son of God. And he comes and he teaches and he loves and he gives and he sacrifices for others. Mm -hmm. But then what do they do in return for Jesus? They crucify him, yeah. right? They kill him on the cross, right? Yeah. And so the picture of God's love isn't, uh, it's not like metaphorical or it's not like their animal represents something. Mm -hmm. it, we believe that God literally came down, became mm -hmm. flesh and blood like us, mm -hmm. suffered, experienced pain, Mm -hmm. and died an unjust death on a cross for us. Mm -hmm. And that was the sacrificial love that, that we experience, yeah. right? That goes beyond all knowledge. The Bible says that even in the midst of my sin, he still came and died, mm -hmm. right? I don't, do you guys believe in sin as Muslims? Um, yeah, we do haram, like, yeah, we okay. do believe in sin. Okay. But we don't believe uh, that Jesus is the son of God because we right. believe that God he's is He's a the prophet, only right? Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. what, yeah, that's what we believe. Yeah. He's just a prophet. So Jesus, he's a prophet. He said, uh, I'm sure you know some of the things he said. And by the way, I'm not like trying to argue my faith. This is just really interesting <laughs> no, yeah, for me, I know. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so Jesus says this, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard that before? I think I have, yeah. Yeah, so that's Jesus standing in front of a bunch of people saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So he either is or isn't, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
And yeah. in my opinion, like if I was there, I would think Jesus is either like insane <laughs> or he's telling the truth. <laughs> it's really, like, like, is there a middle ground? You know, yeah, like, yeah. there's not, you yeah. know? So here's Jesus. He's like, I'm the only way to the father. And you're like, you're either a, like a lying false prophet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or there's something there. Yeah. You know? Um, either way, he knows something because, you right. know, he's the prophet of... So yeah. either way, he's talking to God or he is yeah. who he claims to be, yeah. Possibly. Possibly, right? yeah. Maybe he is who he claims to be. Mm -hmm. And if he is, that has, like, major ramifications mm -hmm. to, like, how we view life, how we view God, yeah, you know? Yeah, really. So um, do you believe that he's the son or he's actually God and Christian? Because I don't know yeah. too much about it, but I know that you guys believe that that's the son of God, but do you also believe that that is God? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do my best to answer mm -hmm. off the top of my head. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we believe in a, in a triune God, three in one, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. he is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Um, and we, because he's God, we can't fully understand it, but maybe you could think of it like water. Mm -hmm. Like water can be ice, vapor, or liquid, yeah. solid, liquid, or vapor, yeah. right? But it's still all water, H2O. Yeah. So that's kind of like a way to think about it yeah. where it's all water, but it's in three different forms, yeah. okay? So Jesus, he is the son of God and at the same time is God. Mm -hmm. In the same way that ice is, is a solid and at the same time it is gas. water. Yeah, well, at the same time it is water, uh -huh. right? Because all three, yeah, yeah. solid, gas, liquid, it's all water, yeah, yeah. but they all have different yeah, labels, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, so we do believe that Jesus is God and he is the son of God. Okay, which yeah. doesn't make a lot of sense, <laughs> but he's also God. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, like, there's some things that are hard yeah. to understand. You know? Does that yeah. maybe yeah, help yeah. a little bit? No, yeah, I get it. Okay, get it. cool. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you for talking. Thank <laughs> yeah, you for being so welcome. fun to talk to. Um, I talked about the agape love of God, mm -hmm. sacrificial, perfect love of God. Um, and I know you, you have your faith, and I'm sure you're on a journey like all yes. of us and, and learning and growing. Um, would you be comfortable if I prayed for you, for yeah. the love of God to just... For you to feel the love of God today? Yeah. Would, Would that it be, be okay? against my religion or no? <laughs> Possibly. I don't, so, right? I don't know. Just don't, tell your, just don't tell your mom. That <laughs> just, we... <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I don't I know. Is it? Prayer is good anyway. Okay. Coming from any religion, prayer is good. Okay. So, yeah, I like that. That's cool. All right. <laughs> so we're going to pray. Um, we don't have to post any of this stuff, but can I put my hand on your shoulder? Yeah, is that all right? Course, yeah. And it's Sarah, right? Yes, yeah, Sarah. All right. So, so if that is in Arabic, how do you say Sarah in Arabic? Is it Sarah? Sarah? Yeah, it's Sarah. the same, yeah. yeah. <laughs> same thing. Cool, Sarah, all right, let me pray. Okay. Lord, thank you for this opportunity to meet um, a wonderful woman, Lord Sarah, who is made in your image, who you love deeply. Thank you for the opportunity to hear some of her story and some of the ways that she's seeking faith. Um, God, I pray that right now, even at this HCC campus with the sun shining, the wind blowing, Lord, I pray that you would reveal your love for her your perfect sacrificial love that Sarah doesn't have to do anything she doesn't have to impress anybody she doesn't have to live a perfect life you love her regardless God you see her even in her deepest darkest sin and you still say Sarah I love you I love you so much that I sent myself in the form of my son to take all that sin upon me and die that's sacrificial love, Lord. Thank you for your sacrificial love. Thank you, Lord. Um, before we talked, you're saying like, I don't know if I'm the best person to talk to for like joy and stuff yeah. like that. Is there? Do you do you struggle with depression? Um. Well, right now I'm just going through something. I'm, okay. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> don't remind Can me. I, no, let's. I want to pray for you on that. That sucks. I know. That really sucks. That's not right. It's not right at all. Um. Let me pray for you, okay? Father, okay. I pray for Sarah right now. Lord, she's dealing with a broken heart. Lord, your word says in Isaiah 61 that Jesus, you came to bind up the broken heart. God, you can take what's shattered into a million pieces and you can put it back together. And not only can you put it back together, but you can put your spirit in it. So Lord, I pray that you'd show Sarah right now that you are longing to meet with her and to put her back together. All of the shattered areas of her heart, all of the betrayal, all of the lies. And Lord, I pray that, um, that this moment of brokenness, Lord, would even lead to, to a seeking, a deeper seeking for truth, for real.